over some of our drills we did today uh, in terms of our warm-ups. So we looked at uh, doing the drills that I had uh, developed for Sanchin and Taihin Jitsu to incorporate those two things together. And uh, with the black belts, uh, I had them do it with uh, Uchi Katana or Daito or Katana. Okay. Um, so um, we had them do it with a Vulcan originally, and then I would demonstrate with uh, 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 an Iaito. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate again. So I'm going to go over these. Uh, there'll be cuts. I'm going to go over these so that um, just so my students can, you know, get used to. Um, we'll have some some sort of reference for the train, okay, from today, okay. So we talked about how the idea of when you're walking around with this, you, you it's not here, it's here, so it's balanced, and also the idea of keeping your hand on it and utilizing that, okay. So. What we'll first look at is uh, Chino Kata, okay? So the one we did with Chino Kata, normally when we do this, we would be in Shizen, you know, um, dropping back, Shoshino Kamai, going for Chino Kata, and then Ito Kaiten, okay? So when wearing uh, Yaito or Ichigo Tana, you know, up there, whatever, um, we'll be looking at, let me see if I can do this here. I'll go this way. Okay, so I'm here and I'm dropping back, still delivering Chinokata here. Okay, still delivering that. So we're still doing that same thing, you know, and we're here, here, and now as we go down for Zimpo Kaiten, we're going to use the Kashida to act as almost like an extra hand. By doing this also, this also pulls the Saya forward. So it doesn't hinder us when we roll. Okay. So here, boom, here, I'm there. Then I can draw. Okay. One more time. I'll go from this side. So here, dropping back, Shimokata. Okay, as we go down, open the legs, and you're there. Okay. Okay. So that was when we did Chino Kata with that. Okay. Next we did Suina Kata. Okay, or Mizuno Kata, old school version. Okay. So this one, you're going to use the Suka. As in turn, instead of you're gonna got here, okay. So we did this several ways, we did two different ways that I taught, okay. One is simply here, use this as a ukanagash, okay. So as we go, ukanagash, this hand comes up, omote shuto, okay. And then from there, I'm starting to go down and I'm looking here, still facing the attacker if I need to, draw up. Down and stand. Okay. All right. The other version would be more deceptive. This has a lot more kyojutsu. Okay. So this one is gonna you're gonna do that when I showed this before one of my videos. So you're gonna do it where you're going to throw the weapon up. So it's gonna be here kind of feeling. Okay. So. Okay, gosh, throw the weapon up, okay? So, boom, boom, draw, shift forward. This is the Kyojutsu. You wanna give the impression, you wanna give the impression that A, this is coming for your face, okay? As I go, I step in to cut. As I'm cutting, you're high, cut low. Again, look at the left hand as it slides in, and Go, and come up, okay? One thing you can also do is slide the Saya out. That's another option you have, okay? So once again, here. One, two, drawing, shifting forward. As I go, pull this out, and cut. As I go, okay? 
So you're actually cutting the uke's ankle. You're cutting your foot off at the ankle. Okay. Once more, go from the other side. Side here. One, two. Drawing this as I go. There you go. 